hi everyone welcome to the channel so we're gonna start into your reading you guys this morning it's really early i have my tea ready so i'll be sipping on this as we go you guys um remember to like the video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel if you guys if it resonates with you if it doesn't i'll have a link in the description box it will be your playlist you guys all right you can also go over to my instagram and support me over there as well as soon as we hit those 5Ks on the Instagram, I would definitely start these free personal readings on the gram. It would even have their own schedule over there and everything, and it's completely free personal readings, okay? So if you want to support that, the link would be in the bio. Do not type in my Instagram. Just go ahead and click the link and be directed to there um, because there's just too many scammers on YouTube, honestly, um, you know, making fake profiles and stuff like that off my Instagram, okay? And scamming you guys. I don't want you guys to get scammed. So make sure you click the link, all right? All right, so let's get into your reading. This is for Scorpio. We're going to start off with Scorpio today. Scorpio. And then we're going to also um, go into some other videos. Just see what my intuition is um, pushing me towards today, okay? So we're going to see your overview, Scorpio. What's going on? We're going to do an overview reading about what's going on in your life, okay? This is a general. It might not resonate for everyone, of course, but takes what does and leave what does not. Scorpio, please. What's going on for their overview? What's going on for Scorpio overview? Please, what messages do you have for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, the first message that came up is the devil. Of course, there is some kind of, you know, addiction going on here or some kind of um, cycle that you keep going back to in and out. One moment it's over, the next it starts again. Um, I feel like there is someone watching you. Um, there is some kind of toxic behavior here as well that's, that I'm feeling. Let's see. Tell me about this energy, please. For Scorpio, there is a burden here that is carried. A lot of responsibility is on your back. I feel like a lot of you are feeling like you want to uh, uh, accomplish a lot this year. Um, I feel like uh, a lot of you want to see yourself develop this year. And it's like putting yourself on the timeline here that you're doing a lot more, uh, carrying a lot more, not just for yourself, but I feel like for everybody else. And for some of you, you might be living for other people. And when I say living for other people, you guys, I just mean like every decision that you make, it's for your surrounding. It's not like you, you just decide to get up one day and go because you wanted to. I feel like if you wanted to move somewhere, you have to make sure that everybody around you is okay, right? This is the vibe that I'm getting here. Um, and this is like a toxic behavior here. I feel like the angels want you to live for yourself. Do things only for yourself. If people have questions, that is none of their business. This is something for you. It's like, you know, taking control of your life. This is what I'm feeling here, okay? So I feel like you're carrying a burden here. You're carrying this behavior, okay? I also feel like someone around you might be stuck into something here. Or you're dealing with um, a toxic person, all right? It could be a Libra energy here, but I'm also getting Aries, Leo, or Sag energy, fire sign also. Tell me more, please. I'm getting like a toxic relationship. Like you're trying to make it appear. It's not like the, the same situation from yesterday. Like trying to carry a relationship and in the inside you're dying. But on the outside, you're trying to make this relationship appear as something that it isn't. This is what I'm hearing from Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio in this connection, please? Okay. I feel like for some of you, you might be living in regret or giving up on love and moving forward without, you know, um, like you feel like the universe have missed you or skipped you. Like, where is your blessing? Where is your accomplishments? Where is everything that you worked for? Everything that was meant for you? Like... You lost hope here. 
Like you think everybody forgot about you, like the universe forgot about you, like the angels forgot about you, but the truth is they didn't. They're working on it. <laughs> it's right behind you. You need to like look. You see how these two cups are behind you standing up and all these cups here that fell over. Like you're looking at all your disappointments here and not your accomplishments. The angels want you to see your accomplishments and not what you don't have, what you do have. I feel like there's going to be a lot of jealousy in a few weeks coming up, Scorpio, with a lot of your friends because there's going to be a shift here. Like, there's going to be accomplishment here that um, you want to share. You know, this is something that's important to you. This is something that you're working hard on. Um, and, of course, you want to share this with people, but uh, the certain people that you're sharing things with, um, I don't feel like they're close, but it's like, you know... <sighs> They're close enough to hold your hand. They're close enough to touch you. You know what I mean? And these are people that might be jealous of you or keeping secrets from you. So you need to be aware of that, okay? Yes, the tower. So I'm getting a relationship here that um, ended, okay? Ended very suddenly. I'm thinking that there's a lot of people to do with this connection as well. Why it ended, I'm feeling like a lot of jealousy, like people don't want you guys together. But a situation happened where some kind of um, communication or miscommunication with the situation here. All right, so let's see what this is all about. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Wow. All right. Well, this person definitely is coming in to give you this committed relationship. I'm feeling like for some of you, you've been through a breakup or a heartache, and there's an opportunity that this person is coming in to give you uh, a real stable relationship. Okay. Scorpio, let's go back to the five of cups here where you're feeling like love is just not for you. Um, everything that you have wanted. I feel like for some of you, you know, um, you seen yourself with this career and this, um, you know, very being very, um, successful, carrying a whole lot of, um, opportunities on your back here, working them at the same time. Okay. Um, being very, um, successful and not seeing your accomplishments. You want more and more and more and more. And when it comes to love, I feel like when you try everything failed. Okay. But the truth is it failed for a reason. All right. There is going to be a shift. Like I said before. Now, this tower moment, this was a relationship that ended. You wanted it to work, but it ended. It could be many more relationships. Every time you try, it just doesn't work out. But there's going to be a relationship that's going to fulfill you. This is a king of cups, okay? And it's an reward, actually, that's coming towards you that you need to pay attention to, all right? Some of you, I'm getting like you're just coming out of a connection, like you're coming out of a connection and this just came straight up towards you. Tell me more for Scorpio. Ooh, look at that. You see what I'm saying? A new beginning. Look at this. The ace of the ace of cups. Can you see that? How beautiful this card is? The ace of cups. Everything that you ever wanted is coming towards you. Wow, a new beginning, abundance. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Scorpio, get ready. I mean, this person is going to be the love of your life. It's going to be a very much a strong, strong connection here. And I'm also getting a, um, the sex is going to be amazing. This person is going to be really attracted to you and really um, a very attractive person. Okay. Now, you have to get over these um, questions here. I feel like, you know, because you carried a relationship in your past where you had to take control of everything, you had to make things appear um, to other people, 
like everything was perfect and in reality this relationship was falling apart and i'm getting you know what do not let this ruin this new beginning that's coming into your life do not let the past linger into your new beginning here because you're going to get a new beginning a real full love here that's going to fulfill your cup i feel like when you meet this person scorpio you're just going to know because everything is like i always get that question like how do you know the person is for you well you just know because it's kind of different than any other your any other relationships that you ever had like most of your relationship when you're here to learn from someone you're going through a lot of things you're going through a lot of responsibilities a lot of shifts a lot of change a lot of cycles so you know and a lot of us doesn't want to let go from that because of so much experience or so much history with that person to start over with someone new it's like oh i don't know but when it's meant to be you feel like wow you know yes you're not gonna it's not gonna be perfect all the time but everything falls into place everything is just so beautiful everything is just so much better you know than anything that you ever experienced before and this is what i'm seeing here but as long as you stay away from trying to investigate or trying to run away from this new love that's coming in because i do see you running away all right this is something that's moving very slowly this person is coming off as a young person but you know it's like an offer that's coming to you here you know this person is taking their lovely time towards this you know legacy but i want to tell you that they're going to in like express their feelings for you very very so you don't have very very um very very straightforward so you don't have any doubts okay how they feel but moving in a legacy sharing everything that they have built yes this is something that they want to move forward in but they're going to move very slowly towards this all right i feel like you know this person is actually um working their way way up to being financially stable okay All right. This could also be a career um, situation coming in as well, Scorpio, because the Ace of Cups also means opportunity. It could be everything that whatever you want. If it's a job, if it's, you know, a home, if it's, you know, a person, you're going to get it. But I'm also seeing like this is the, that person. It could be a, a Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus energy, someone that is very homebound. OK, but I'm also getting like there's going to be some news of promotion coming to you about some kind of form of money. All right. There is a cutoff here a communication that's cut off with a former en enemy a friend that you used to speak to like you don't want to talk to them anymore or have anything to do with these jealous people that you might have found out about or everything that you might have been planning they have been doubting you and putting you down or making you feel like you know your plans are just not valid here or something of that nature okay what i'm getting all right, so we have the nine of um, pentacles here. Financial stability. Woo. You know, look, we have your past coming back with love here. This person is definitely someone that wants a second chance with you. I feel like, you know, of course, this situation ended. So you're going to have a new love that's coming in here because as soon as this relationship ended, I see a new form of love. And not only that, it's going to be very fulfilling to you. These cards are very straightforward, Scorpio. That's telling you what you need to expect here. There's going to be like... um financial stability if you guys are worried about a certain situation or something not working out or you know leaving or being single this is also represents a single card you're going to be fine no matter what you do but i also feel like do not let your past linger and try to because you have still have feelings for this person that the tower about this tower moment okay but you know you're not you're not too key key about being back with them because this is in the reverse but i also see this person is coming back to you okay but i just feel like for for you you know you're gonna have to make a ch the decision because i see a new person and i see your past still lingering here okay they're moving very slowly towards you with the chariot your past energy they're also coming off as a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy, but they're very, like, still. They don't, they're not making any movements when it comes to uh, a legacy with you, okay? They don't have any confidence that in themselves that they can provide this for you or give this to you, 
but I'm seeing like this person is going to try anyway. I do see an apology coming in for some of you. This person could also be a Scorpio like yourself, a Cancer, or definitely a Pisces energy, okay? Definitely they're going to apologize for whatever situation or fallout that they caused in this in, in this um, relationship, in this connection, okay? So let's see some messages. Um, let's put some messages in here, all right, and see what we have for Scorpio, please. The person that Scorpio is thinking about, what messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. We have the fools, okay? So I'm seeing love here, all right? There is a lot of love here for you and this person. I'm also seeing that, you know, there's a cycle here with you and this person. I'm getting this person from your past, okay? Not the new person, the person from your past where you guys go back and forth, okay? But you have a lot of love. Be careful, um, you guys, because I'm seeing like some of you might make the decision because, you know, of course we go with how we feel and how we feel about a certain person and the new person, you might not have that um, physical, um, not even emotional connection the way you have with your past because you've been through a lot of trials and tribulation. But your past person is clearly someone that truly loves you. They're coming off as your soulmate, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to even sit here and lie about this, okay? They're coming off as your soulmate, all right? But they're moving very slowly. They're not even moving at all. They're just still. They're still with the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Chariot in reverse. They're not sure how to get you back, but they're going to express their love to you regardless, but they're not sure how to change and make this work. They have no confidence in themselves or no confidence and interest in trying to um, fix this um, situation, this conflict that you got going on in the strength card. All right, but there is an apology that's coming towards you with this person. All right, but I also feel like because this ended, the universe is giving you your new person. All right, but you might be running away from this new person because you're scared. And I feel like it's sudden for some of you. Like, oh, you're looking at this new person like someone that might just be talking that's what I'm talking and seeing like because they're coming off really strongly. They're coming off as the king of cups. Someone doesn't play around with their emotion. They're very intent with what they want and what they feel. So this person is telling you truly how they what they want, but you're like from your experience with your past, you're like, oh, this person is playing games on me. I still want you. So your ex is showing up in your reading. They feel and know that you're moving on, okay? There's someone coming, and this is why your ex is the test, okay? Your soulmate is the test. You call me, and I'm not ready to talk to you, okay? So for some of you, um, I'm feeling like you're getting calls from this person or some kind of calls, and you're just not picking up the phone because you're just not ready to talk to this person. Like, you already know your past person is coming back towards you, um, they're trying to reach out. I'm never effing you again, card. I text you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll text you. I'm, I'll text you. I wrote these cards that I can't read. I'll text and call you tonight. <laughs> and then we have the real Wheel of Fortune here. So I told you there was a cycle here that was going on. And for some of you, I'm really getting like this Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it's a luck card also, but I just feel like the cycle has not been completed with you and this person, which is from your past. And so because of that, you might be tempted to jump right back in. This is why the Fools is here. Okay. Tell me more. Two more, please. Scorpio. Okay, damn, you moved on real fast. So somebody think you have somebody else here missing you. Per this person clearly is missing you. All right, we did. Uh, I did see the five of um, the five of cups as well, where this person is missing you. This is a missing card as well. Um, you know, somebody living in regret, somebody missing someone here, someone thinking about that the universe is definitely not on their side like every time they try to do something it fails right in front of their faces 
Um, but I feel like you're going to have a big decision to make, a huge decision actually, um, that's uh, between two people, you know, Scorpio. So I hope this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, I will have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.